through solve the following system of linear equation using substitution method. So here you want to substitute, right? So you have one equation one, equation two, equation three. So what you need to do is that choose one of these three equations and then you substitute inside another two equation. For example, if I choose two, why? Because I can see that the equation is simpler compared to the other two. So here x minus y minus z is equal to negative three. Right? So I want to get x. So x is equal to you bring everything else to the right, negative three plus y plus z. So this one is number four. Now I use number equation number two to get x, right? Now I have to substitute into another equation which is one and three. So here four into one. So 4 into 1, so 1 you have 2x plus y plus 3z is equal to negative 2. So you substitute x here, so 2, negative 3 plus y plus z plus y plus 3z is equal to negative 2. So you expand, 2 times negative 3 you get negative 6, 2 times y you get 2y, 2 times z you get 2z plus y plus 3z is equal to negative 2. So here, I combine 1 and y, 2y plus y, you get 3y. 2z plus 3z, you get 5z. Okay, y and z, see so y and z, so you have negative 6 here, I bring to the other side, which is equal to negative 2. You bring to the other side, you get negative, negative 6, right? So here you get 4. So 3y plus 5z is equal to 4. So this one is the fifth equation. Okay, now 4 into 1. Now you need to do into 4 into 3. So this one, 3x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to negative 12. So 3x is equal to negative 3 plus y plus z minus 2y plus 3z is equal to negative 12. So, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 3 times y, you get positive 3y. Three, 3 times z, you get positive 3z. So, this one is minus 2y plus 3z is equal to negative 12. So, here 3y minus y, you get y. 3z plus 3z, you get 6z. So, here you have negative 9, right? We bring to the other side. So, here you have negative 12 minus negative 9 so negative 12 plus 9 you get 3 so this one is 6y plus 6z so now this one is number 6 so here you can you have you can see that from number 6 and 5 you only have two variable which is y and z so this one you have y so i want to substitute this one inside this one so y is equal to negative 3 minus 6z. Negative 3, you bring 6z to the other side, become negative. So this one is 7. Now I can substitute 7 into 5. Right, this one is 5. Because you have y here, if you substitute the value y, the value here, you will get the value of z. So here 3, y, y is negative 3 minus 6z plus 5z is equal to 4. Okay. 3 times negative 3, you get negative 9. 3 times negative 16, you get ne negative 6, you get negative 18. Z plus 5z is equal to 4. Negative 18 plus 13, you get negative 13. Z. So you bring 9 to the other side. 4 plus 9 because negative become positive. So negative 13 z is equal to 13 z is equal to 13 divided by negative 13. You get negative 1. Now you get the value of z is equal to negative 1. So just now z is equal to negative 1, right? So you see here up here. You can get your value of y when you have z. So y is equal to negative 3 minus 6. So z is equal to negative 1. So negative 3, negative 6 times negative 6 times 1 is plus 6. So here you get 3. Y is equal to 3.
and then for x here from 4 you can directly get x you can substitute in either 1 2 3 or from this one you have x already you can just substitute so x is equal to negative 3 plus y is equal to 3 plus z z is equal to negative 1 so negative 3 plus 3 minus 1 this one is 0 so you get negative 1 so x is equal to negative 1 okay so for b so you have 1, 2, 3. So this one you can get x from here or x from 3. I mean because you won't get a fraction when you find your x. So if I use number 3. So x plus y plus 4z is equal to 20. So x is equal to, I bring the other 2 to the right. So 20 minus y minus 4z. This one is number 4. Okay, now... So this one, I do number 3, right? Now you have to substitute into number 1 and number 2. So number 1, so here 4 into 1. So 1 is 2x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 16. So you substitute x. So this one is your x. So 2x is 20 minus y minus 4z plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 16. So you expand 2 times 20 is 40. 2 times negative y is minus 2y. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8z. Plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 16. So I just combine y and y. Negative 2y plus 3y is y. Negative 8z plus 2z, you get negative 6z. So I do 140, I bring to the other side. I just want a variable to be here. I mean, you can let it be here. But then it will be easier if you bring at one side. So this one is 16 minus 40. So y minus 6x is equal to negative 16 minus 40. So here you get negative 24. So this one is number 5. This one is 4 into 1. Now, 4 into so 4 into 2 so now you have x this one is plus 4y minus 2z is equal to 12 so you substitute x x is 20 minus y minus 4z plus 4y minus 2z is equal to 12 so this one is 20 minus y minus 4z plus 4y minus 2z is equal to 12 so I combine y and y, negative 4y plus 4y is 3y. Negative 4z minus 2z, you get minus 6z. So you bring 20 to the other side, become negative 20. So 12 minus 20. So here you get 3y minus 6z is equal to negative 8. So this one is my number 6, right? So now you can see that from 5 and 6, so from 5 and 6, we only have two variables, y and z, y and z. So we can find the equation. So here, you see here, I want to do this because this one is y. So y is equal to negative 24. You bring 6z to the other side, you get plus 6z. So this one is my number 7. Now you have the value of y. If you substitute the value of y here, then you can get the value of z. So 3y is negative 24 plus 6x minus 6x is equal to negative 8. So this one is 24 times 3, you get 72. So negative 72 plus 18z minus 6x is equal to negative 8. So 18 minus 6z, you get 12z is equal to, so 72 you bring to the side, negative 8, negative, bring to the other side, negative 72. So here, negative 18, negative 8 plus 72, so you actually get 64. So 12z is equal to 64, so z is equal to 64 divided by 12. So we get so here we get sixteen over three. So
So this one is for Z. So after you get the value of Z, if you substitute here, you will get the value of Y. So here, from 7, Y is equal to negative 24 plus 6Z, which is equal to negative 24 plus 6Z is equal to 16 over 3. So here we get, A. So here Z is equal to 16 over 3 and Y is equal to 8. Okay. So you already get your Z and Y. So from this equation you can get your X. So X is equal to 20 minus Y. Your Y is 8. Minus 4, your z is 16 over 3. So here you will get negative 28 over 3. So this one is x is equal to negative 28 over 3.